everybody it's Catalina and in this video I want to share with you a change that I have made in my pattern of intermittent fasting that has resulted in my fasting experience becoming a lot easier a lot more enjoyable and also a lot more effective so this change that I'm talking about is to stop fasting in the morning and instead fast at night so let me tell you a bit more about it when I started fasting about Eight years ago I started following the 16 8 hour method I was fasting for 16 hours every day and then eating all of my calories in a window of eight hours I did that for a while and it was great I loved how I felt it was just I had all this energy and then I also lost a little bit of weight and then it just stopped working so when it stopped working and I stopped seeing results, I started playing around with the length of my fasts and my eating windows. I started fasting sometimes for 18 hours, for 20, I tried omad, I tried two meals a day and I got, I realized then that variety was very good in order to keep getting results from fasting, just keep the body guessing and prevent it from getting used to what you're doing. However, it didn't matter how long or short my fast was, I always found that it affected my sleep. That on days I didn't fast, I had very good night of sleep, very restful nights, and whenever, whenever I was fasting, even if it was just for 16 hours, my sleep suffered. And that was a bit of a nightmare because sleep is very important to me. And if I don't sleep well, if I don't sleep enough, I'm going to be more hungry the next day, so then fasting is going to be harder as well. So I wanted to find a way in which I could still get the benefits of fasting because I love intermittent fasting but at the same time you know getting good sleep so then I started looking to our circadian rhythm and how we as humans are programmed to be eating food when the Sun is up and during the night we are meant to be sleeping and resting and our body repairing also during the day we are more insulin sensitive meaning that our bodies are better able to process carbohydrates than they are later in the day from the point of view of our circadian rhythm it makes more sense to be eating most of our calories during the day and eating less at night and this can be difficult because usually dinner is the most social meal of the day but I'm telling you it can definitely be done so I started experimenting with it and immediately I noticed a big difference in the quality of my sleep I started having breakfast shortly after waking up, I then had a big lunch and then I had a small dinner that was early. So I was consuming most of my calories during the day and then at night, um, by night I mean I'm having my dinner at about 5 or 6 p.m. which is early, it gives me a lot of hours before bedtime for the food to go down, for me not to be too full and it's a small meal as well. So I still get to have dinner but it's just small. I started sleeping a lot better and also I thought I was okay with my workouts but I noticed a huge difference basically when I have food in my stomach when I eat then I get much better workouts and have very active mornings anyway I love going to the gym and lifting weights I love jumping rope as well I take the dogs for walks daily and when I have to run errands everything that's physical really for me happens in the morning so when I started, you know, it, it didn't even make sense to be doing all that in an empty stomach and struggling a little bit and then eating later in the day and getting energy whenever I'm just getting ready for bed basically. Uh, this, this can be different for men and women because men are better able to be under a lot of stress. Men can do a strict ketogenic diet, they can go for days without food, they can just do better, a lot better with longer fasts than women can and so for me that that was my experience as well depending on where I was in my cycle some days it was really easy to fast and to have really good workouts with any food in my stomach but at other times of the month it was really quite difficult to do that what I love about this way of eating is that I get to wake up and eat and breakfast is my favorite meal of the day I get lots of energy for my physical activity then at lunch time I get to have a nice big meal as well which helps me recover from all my physical activity in the morning and then at night I still get to have dinner I can still you know have a social time but I just happen to eat less and I find that when I have less food in my stomach as well it's much easier for me to go to sleep and it's much easier for me to just have a good night of sleep I sleep so much better that way as well 
So this has been working very well for me. Most days that's how I eat. I don't really count calories, I don't really track macros. I do just play around with the amount of carbohydrates I eat depending on the activity levels of the day. I get to have all the benefits of fasting and also just makes it much easier and I, I get better workouts and I feel really good as well. You don't really feel like you're fasting anyway because you you get to have dinner. And this is interesting as well for me being Colombian because in Colombia breakfast is usually a big meal and lunch is the biggest meal of the day and then for dinner people like to have something very very small. Um, my whole life I would hear people saying oh you don't want to have a big meal at night because it's very fattening and it will stop you sleeping well. And so it's, it's kind of funny to go back to that way of eating. So I wanted to share this information with you. It has been very helpful to me. And I think if you're maybe fasting and you're struggling with it or you don't look forward to it, you struggle with your energy levels, then playing around with the times you're fasting can make it much easier for you. So this has worked really well for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.